Internet shutdowns affect fundamentally, uh, one, the freedom of access to information. Um, you remember the internet is a platform on which information is traded. Um, it's a platform on which information is shared. And shutting down the internet, first of all, affects communication, then affects access to information. And no country that considers itself a free and democratic society should ever have to shut down the internet for anything even for concerns that they think are related to national security. Government's uh, perception when they were creating the over-the-top tax uh, was that they needed to tax social platforms. They needed to tax Facebook, Twitter, for the amount of value they were generating within the country. However, they went about it the wrong way by blocking access uh, to those platforms for ordinary Ugandans. We have been engaged in a three-year back and forth with government and luckily common sense prevailed um, so ott has since been removed but then placed as one of the taxes within access to an internet bundle now that means of course internet is good is expensive in uganda of course internet is expensive in uganda and 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 the price and cost of the internet needs to go down those are conversations we can have but in the meantime the immediate win is that you don't have to pay a taxes to be able to access platforms of social uh, communication um, like, like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, as was the case when OTT was put in place.